Hey traders, Lance here. I'm going to populate a watch list and how you could customize your watch list when trading here in TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim. So the first thing you want to do is A, populate the watch list. So here I'm just looking at a bunch of option time and sales orders. Click on this little uh, expand tab here or this little arrow. And now here's a watch list. But let's actually start from square one. So you'll probably have some you know, account info, maybe Trader TV and some charts down here. Click on Add Gadget, and then go to Watch List. And then let's actually populate this and detach it. So now we detach it, we get our big old watch list. And it might go under Default, it might go under Personal, uh, it might go under Public. I'm just going to go to, um, uh, let's use, actually, Actually, let's actually go and make a new one. So let's create a watch list. Let's go from square one. Um, I'm going to name it New Watch List for Trading. And now what I can do is add symbols. So I'm going to add Apple, hit enter. There's Apple. Click on the down arrow, Facebook, Amazon, uh, Microsoft. You get the gang of it. You can add all the watch, watch lists you want, watch, stop, watch lists you want, and stocks you want. Or you can import actually a Microsoft Excel or Google um, uh, Google uh, Sheets tab, um, as long as it's in you know again kind of Excel format there, and you could go to Select File and uh, you know import your watch list, and it will do it uh, uh, very nicely. It will actually replace the current symbols or add it. But for this example, let's do it manually, uh, and then let's go to Save. So here's my new watch list here. It gives me last net change bid and ask. Well, I, I, I don't really care about bid and ask. I actually want to see the percentage change too. So I could click on this gear icon on the top right and it says customize. Ah, oh, perfect. Now what I can do is I can add, you could double click or go to add item, um, the, the uh, percentage change. And let's say I also want to do, um, you see they give us a boatload of options here. Uh, let's say I want to add, um, I like this one, a high, a high low graph. I'm going to add this one too, and I'm going to get rid of the bid and the ask. Cool. Now I'm going to click on OK. So now it gives me the last price, the net change, and the percentage change, and a high low graph. I just like this high low graph. It basically, it just gives you the stock going lower or higher during the current uh, trading day and you can see it moves so these stocks with the market are going lower right now um, just something that I like to just look at during the day again this is a hundred percent customized to you whatever you want to look at I just thought it was a cool feature now what I want to do is I can export to file my watch list so I can actually save it on my machine or what I can do is actually add it uh, so I can't click away from it so it stays put or what I can do is I could share it um, with a friend or share it, uh, you know, again with someone. And now it will be under my personal um, watch list now. So again, we have it named and boom, new watch list for trading. Perfect. It's saved. So if I click out of it um, and I forget to save it, it will populate. And if I want to add new names, I can. Just one little thing. If you are completely satisfied and you like your layout on your TD Ameritrade, let's say you have multiple charts or multiple watch lists you're looking at, I'm just gonna exit that. Go to Setup and then Save Workspace As, and then name it whatever you want to save it under. And now every time you log on TD Ameritrade, that watch list will be saved. You'll just go uh, under Watch List. You could click on the previous one or a new one you have, and then here it is. New watch list for trading, boom, awesome.